make a description to that, but I wanted to kind of do some changes to it to get rid of uh, some of the things that I didn't think were necessary and also to change up the shape a little bit. I want this to blend right into the spine of the saw, so to do that I would have to change some of the curves. So the next thing was to find a piece of stock that was big enough to make the handle in one piece. I have lots of three-quarter inch boards that are wide enough, but the handle really should be closer to one inch thick. I didn't want to glue up two pieces, so I found one single one that's an inch and a half thick and four inches wide. Then I could cut it to rough length and rip it down to a little bit more than one inch thick on the tabletop. blank cut down to size I can paste on the template that I drew up making sure that I line the spine up straight through I want straight grain all the way along the spine of the saw then I took the ruler and extended the lines from my template onto the wood since the paper that I used wasn't big enough to draw the whole saw on larger holes are one and a quarter inches and the smaller one is one inch. After the holes are drilled, I could cut out the shape on the bandsaw, getting as close to the line as I possibly could. cut out the rough shape, I can bring it back to the drill press and drill the two pilot holes for the screws that will go through to secure the blade into the handle. The next operation to do on the handle is to reduce the thickness of the spine down to three-eighths of an inch. I'm leaving a little bit on the end to support it there so that it doesn't dip down into the saw as I cut more of it away. I've got the blade sticking out five-sixteenths of an inch and I'm just going to nibble away the material all the way across. Now that the spine is cut down to rough thickness, I'm going to take it to the router table and round over the edges on the handle itself. This will be the first pass. What I'll do after this is bring it to the spindle sander, do the final smoothing around the curves, then bring it back to the router table again and route those roundovers again to make them perfect. With the major shaping done on the handle, I can try it in my hand and see how it fits. I dipped off the
नहीं